Hi there, uh, back for another video. Uh, I just wanted to show you how to remove a 2010 Mazda 3 uh, gas pedal. It's a little difficult. Um, I haven't found any YouTube videos on how to remove it. Um, it would be really nice to have one. So I figured I'd make one for you guys. Uh, another thing, a lot of descriptions I have have found, uh, they kind of explain it. But it, it's, it's a little difficult, so it's just better maybe to, to have a video. So that's what I'm going to do for you today. So right here is the, the pedal. You want to undo the, there's three bolts, two up top and one right there. Uh, they're uh, a 10 mil, so just take a socket and uh, that'll come off right pretty easy. So what you want to do is flip this red switch up, which it already is, and flip it up a little bit more, perfect, like that. And I thought you could just pull it, but then you have to just push in, push in, and it should come right out pretty easy. Sorry, one hand people, sorry. I'm just going to put the camera down, down here. So, again, just push in this little clip and it comes right out. Uh, it's quite simple. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you the little clip here. So once you flip that red switch up, there's a little black thing right under it. You just push in and it will uh, release, release the electrical connection. Uh, I've tried pulling on it uh, before finding out that little trick and uh, it doesn't come off so you need to push that little black release button to to release it and uh, it's that, that simple. Hopefully this video helps. Um, I'm going to try to do some other videos um, along the way, maybe some couple simple things uh, that I haven't seen videos for. Uh, so hopefully this helps you. So I just want to do a quick uh, little video of this too. Um, so there's five bolts. Uh, I've been told in other videos um, that there was only four. Uh, there's actually five. So there's one here, one here, three, four, and five, way at the top. Uh, so that that's the five five bolts here, or uh, nuts you're gonna have to take off. Um, that's the brake pedal, um, and obviously right here uh, you have the bolts for your gas pedal, um, and there's four of those. So there'll be four four nuts and one bolt, um, and that will that will, that will take care of the gas pedal and the brake pedal. So I just wanted to show you, uh, you're going to have to take out the battery tray, which is uh, currently right here. There's uh, one, two, and there, there's uh, one, two, and three bolts you got to take out. Um, also you have to stake some wires out uh, from the, the corner on the side here. Uh, so yeah, so uh, once you got it out um, in the ECU, which is connected uh, to these cables here, it's uh, not too bad. Um, what else? Oh yeah, then you're going to have to uh, disconnect the brake from inside and what you have to do, you can see I, I zap zap zap, eh, zap strap the, the master cylinder. Uh, to the transmission uh, fill. I just did that to kind of pull it up out of the way and that way you'll hold it. There's not too much strain on it. Um, it happened to work for me since I'm only one person. Uh, so yeah, once you've un un undid all the bolts for the brake pedal, you can come back here and kind of wiggle it back a bit and then that should uh, give you enough room to uh, take the brake out. 
straightforward. Uh, I was able to get it out without taking the sham call out, which is uh, excellent. It's a, it's a bit tight in there. Um, I can kind of bring you up and show you the space I was at. So you should be able to see uh, up in there. Oh, got pretty dark. So uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty tight, but uh, it works. So. So welcome back. Uh, we've got the. I just disconnected the power cord for the blower motor. As you can see, it's a uh, it's quite small space. The blower motor has been uh, disconnected. I don't know if you can really see there, um, but there's the tube which will have to get disconnected. I'm going to see if I can just kind of push it through. Um, there was a little tab uh, right approximately right here. You can see my finger. Um, that's where there was a, a black release uh, button I had to press and then it just, just, just it released. Uh, so it, it probably sits something very similar to that. Um, and then I just hit the, the black release plastic on the on the blower motor and uh, yeah it uh, then you can rotate it and then you just have to get the electrical connection and the hose off or uh, I'm gonna see if I could just push it through uh, with the hose on and then uh, yeah you're pretty much uh, done there's no screws or anything like uh, some other videos of I've, I've heard uh, it's pretty straightforward which makes it a lot easier um, yeah, that's everything. I'll see you soon. Uh, so now we're on the, the blower motor side, the passenger side. So we'll just kind of, here we go, we'll go in. So uh, yeah, we're just going to try to pull it out right now. Hopefully there's enough light. So there's not a whole lot of light, but uh, we'll see if we can get her out. There we go. Got her out. Beautiful. Now time to get the new one and uh, throw